Remember a few years back when I was talking about Oklahoma and Texas possibly joining the SEC and then it happened and I said, this is going to cause a massive domino effect a few years down the road. And sure enough, the next following year, USC and UCLA bolt for the Big Ten. Well, it looks like we might have another massive domino effect coming if one certain team has their way and decides to try to find a way out of that ACC supposed ironclad Grant Reich's thing that you always hear about. Looks like old Florida State is making some waves, asking some questions about possibly getting out of the ACC. If that happens, here comes that domino effect again. Let's talk about it. Come again, riding on in. The Outlaw Posse is now in effect. That's right, this is the OCF. That stands for the Outlaw College Football, also known as JPC, on Facebook, known as Jesse Paul Clark, spelled J-E-S-S-E without the I, and on Twitter at OCF Productions. Now, getting right to it here. Uh, seems like a little leaked out meeting about the uh, Florida State Board of Trustees and the uh, athletic director in a meeting has came out and said that Florida State wants to know what they need to do in order to get out of the ACC possibly. Um, Michael Alford, as you know, is the AD at, at Florida State. And I got a few notes here, old school as usual. And it says FSU AD Michael Alford says, fix the massive revenue gap between the SEC and Big Ten versus the ACC, or else. Also going on to say that something has to change because the status quo is unsust unsustainable for a national championship program. Then he shows uh, actually some numbers here that old Michael Alford's doing his homework. It says the SEC makes $800 million a year, while the Big Ten is bringing in $1.1 billion a year, while the ACC is dragging behind vastly at $240 million a year. Now, if that sounds funny saying only $240 million, because that's still a lot of damn money. But their uh, little contract doesn't expire to 2036, and we keep hearing about this Grand Rights deal they signed all the way to 2036. And the former um, commissioner, I can't remember his damn name, whoever had a hand or part in signing this deal, this loan did a great disservice to the ACC because now they're stuck with that deal and it's going to be hard to get out of it. And that's why one of the trustees for Florida State actually asked the question. Well, no him hawing, no uh, <laughs> person of words or anything like that. He just come out and said, hey, uh, is it feasible to get out of the ACC? Is the buyout, he said, is the buyout feasible? And that's a pretty direct question, pretty blunt. <laughs> that's some pretty serious stuff to even ask that question, to even pose it. And Michael Alford went on to say that, you know, um, if they can make up the money with the ACC, if they could renegotiate with the ACC somehow and have it to where they were getting paid more than some of the other teams, you know, the unequal revenue sharing that's somewhat what Texas and Oklahoma wanted when they were in the Big 12. And, of course, that never really come to fruition, but it did sort of with the Longhorn Network. And you got Texas and Oklahoma eventually leaving because they feel like they were um, basically carrying everybody else. Well, Florida State obviously feels that way. And they have the numbers to support it. Um, they are bringing in 15% of the revenue for the uh, – 14 team conference, which is a pretty sizable amount. 15% may not sound like a lot, but it is, especially with these kind of numbers and this kind of money involved. And Michael Alford would only say that if they could come to agreement on that, then maybe Florida State can make that money up 
um, because he said right now they are looking at a $30 million gap, possibly for the next 10 years. That's $300 million, right? And Florida State says that's just not acceptable. And they're going to have to give up three, <laughs> $300 million and the buyout's $120 million. You do the math here. You'd be better just getting out right now and paying the $120 million, whatever, and going to the SEC or the Big Ten or whatever conference, maybe even the Big 12. I don't know. I doubt the Big 12, though. But uh, <clears throat> a lot of people automatically assume that because Florida State is located in the southeastern region, that they would uh, naturally go to the SEC. That's not, that's not always the case. It's not always as, as clear cut as you think. Because, you know, back in the day, Florida State had a chance to join the SEC. When they invited Arkansas and South Carolina into the conference back in 1992, the SEC went to Florida State and Miami and offered them tickets to the SEC. They offered them like Willie Wonka golden ticket, and they turned it down, and Bobby Bowden even admitted it. He said that he would rather go to the ACC. He wanted his team to be in a conference because at the time, Florida State and Miami were both independents. And uh, he wanted to be in a conference, but he wanted to be in a conference where, you know, they could uh, basically not be on the uh, on the cusp of losing every week, which is what they would have been doing in the SEC. Whereas in at the time when he joined the ACC, the only real football powers at that time were North Carolina. Virginia was pretty good back then. And Clemson. Clemson wasn't as good as they are now. But the main uh, competition they had was – was would be Virginia, not Virginia, but would be North Carolina going in because Miami wasn't in yet either. But as we know, Miami did get in the ACC as well. But Florida State going forward, man, thirty million dollar gap per year. Like I said, they might as well just go ahead and try to come up with the money for the buyout. I know one hundred twenty million dollars is a lot for one school, but I think that they would do some kind of maybe little back backroom dealings with the SEC or the Big Ten, the, the SEC or the Big Ten with that kind of money could help Florida State in their buyout. And the Big Ten would love to have a market in the, in the state of Florida because they already got a market over in one of the biggest cities in America in Los Angeles with two teams in UCLA and USC. If they could get into the Sunshine State, that would be a big coup for the Big Ten. And if that happens, I fully expect if Florida State does that, it's going to cause a ripple effect. Teams like Clemson, Miami, North Carolina, possibly Virginia, Virginia Tech, NC State maybe, would all probably start looking for a way out. And at that point, Florida State may not have to pay that $120 million about. If they could get some other teams on board, like I mentioned before, if they could get about eight schools, that grant of rights would go away. Like I said, there's other people out there that argue blue in the face because they don't want to see the ACC go by the wayside. Those are people that want their team to get in the ACC and the ACC still be relevant. And I think in a way, Notre Dame doesn't want to see the ACC disappear because Notre Dame can have their cake and eat it too with the ACC. They can uh, be in football whenever they want to, like they did in COVID. And then if they don't want to share their football revenue, they can be in the basketball aspect of it and all the other sports and uh, get the best of both worlds. So, I don't think Notre Dame wants to see the ACC go by the wayside, but Florida State may trump Notre Dame in that if they cause this ripple effect that I'm talking about. So you guys and gals tell me what you think about all this. Do you think that if Florida State does this, they might cause six, seven, maybe eight teams to come together and deep six that grant of rights? Or do you think Florida State legit just needs to stay status quo and quit whining about um, – not getting enough money or not having enough money and being way behind the SEC and the Big Ten because they did have their chance in the 1990s to join the SEC, and they didn't. That's a while back. Time for a little forgiveness, right? Anyway, drop it in the comments section. Tell me what you think. Also, there's a heart down here. If you don't mind, hit that. Throw me a few dollars in the coffers. And as always, KMCA to all the other teams. Classes now officially dismissed.